hey, this is going to be a quick rundown of the cell shader that I've put together for Godot. It's based off of Azagaya's uh, initial cell shader code that he uh, so graciously gave to me. And um, I'm putting it out there, so hopefully it can help others out. And what I did was uh, I took his code and I added multiple levels to it and sliders so that you can adjust the shading to a certain degree. It has its limitations, but it um, it's functional. So all the sliders under the shader, the, the parameters over here, you can change the distance of uh, where the light hits, uh, how, how much of the light, maybe you only want two stages. So you, add, you can add up to two, so three levels of light, and you can adjust how bright or dark you want it to actually be in these levels. And on top of that, there is also the ability to smooth out the transition, which uh, essentially creates a, a gradient effect, getting it closer to what the light would look like without the shader. So I'll quickly clear it out so you can see what it would look like. So that's the soft, normal light shading. And then I'm just gonna hit undo to bring it back. Back to the start here and here you can just see how the light reacts and you get that cell shading feel and a lot of it's going to depend on how you've set up your normal maps the better your normal maps the uh, nicer your artwork the better it'll look and you can make it all individual or uh, unique shaders so you can edit everything differently for instance the the rocks are one level and I have those being different than the other, other items. Maybe I want it smoother or less smooth. Can do all that. That's just one image there, but editing the trunk, it edits both the trunk and the, the curved root over here. And the robot, I have all of these items except for the eyes inheriting. So they all will update the shader based on how you set it. So you get uh, level one, level one smoothing, level two, level two smoothing, min, min light, max light, and then mid light. So if you have three levels, you can choose what you want it to be, or you can let it uh, auto pick. Um, it all it depends how you how you want it to look. It's still the code is I'm positive could be done in a better way. So if you know, if you want to take a look at it and you know of a better way to do it, please, by all means, contact me, take the code, do whatever you need to do to make it better. Just let me know when you do, because I would love to use the better version of it. It will take some playing with um, how you modulate the canvas. Uh, I have a canvas modulate here and I'm just darkening it down. Uh, you'll have to play with the modulation and the light to achieve the effect that you want. You can see how it changes based off of the height and energy. So even though it's janky, it still comes up with some pretty cool results. And you will see, uh, depending on how you use it, there will be some gradients that sneak in. Um, I'm not able to eliminate those based off with my knowledge. But it still looks pretty cool, even with the, the smoothing of the gradients. So if you like it, please use it. I'm going to be putting it on Godot shaders. And uh, if you know how to improve it, please do. And I hope you like it. Thanks.